I am so freaking mad. I just made a video and it was like 14 minutes long. It was perfect. I said everything that I wanted to say. <laughs> I hate that. It makes me so frustrated. Yeah, like I hit something on my laptop saying like update some version of something and then it just made me restart my computer and you don't care i always have to look at my self-talk i can't look into the camera it just doesn't seem natural um so i have no way in to report because i quit weight watchers i had paid through the whole month of september and my plan was to still go into my last few weigh-ins. I went online to just like pre-cancel it. But after I canceled it, I was like, I don't want to go. So um, where I'm staying right now, there is no digital camera. Camera. Digital scale. It's just the scale with like the little weir, 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 weir. So it's hard to see accurately but I know when I did my weigh-in um I don't want to do that um it was on the line somewhere between 179 and 181 it, it was going back and forth in there so my last official like fancy weigh-in on a, on a scale was 180.2 so, from what I see, I maintained. I'm not going to say I had a loss. I'm not going to say I had a gain. I'm just going to say I'm basically 180 pounds right now. My goal is 150. So, I have 30 more pounds to go. And I'll get that done in probably two weeks. <laughs> just kidding. Um, so, that's with the, with the Weight Watchers. And I feel good about it. It is going to be hard not tracking, not calorie counting, not doing anything, just intuitively eating like that seems very difficult. Um, I still catch myself logging what I've eaten for the day. I still do that. Even if I don't attach calories or points, I just, as an overview, I don't know if that's bad, I don't know if that's good, I don't know if that goes against intuitive eating or not, I don't know. I mean, I would assume there's no rules but then I'm sure there's things that you really shouldn't do. Um, but I can say that this week, only two occasions where I know I did not eat intuitively. And to me, that is a great, um, it's a great thing because usually I have one episode per day, seven days a week of something that I regret. Meaning I eat in the middle of the night, or I have three or four servings of dinner. Um, I go out to eat too much, ordering things that I know I don't need in my body, I mean, meaning that I'm not hungry. So I've really been concentrating on waiting until I'm hungry, and even when I feel hungry, waiting just a little bit more, just to make sure that that really is hunger. Because I have definitely lost touch with a lot of those feelings. So I have to make sure and it's true, when I wait that extra, on top of the extra, the food does taste so much better. And believe it or not, I don't even eat as much. Um, because you're not accustomed to eating as much. So that worked out. But I'll tell you about the two different times that I did. Um, I'm staying with someone, and so I don't like to eat up people's food, and I'm not in a position where I can really help out with groceries right now. So... I really haven't had any like meal meals like I've had a little bunch of sandwiches um, and little put together things but I haven't had like a meal and so Wednesday night she actually made like this big pasta casserole dish and was cooking it and it smelled so good and it was like my body was just craving like a meal meal you know so I had two large servings of it and I still feel okay with that because knowing that I hadn't eaten all day, I'm like, it's okay. After I, when I went back into the kitchen to wash my dish, 
I was sneaking in there, acting like I was washing my dishes up and I was just scooping out of the Pyrex dish or whatever she cooked it in. Like, and because I wanted more, I wanted more, I wanted more, I wanted more. And I had to literally just like chunk my freaking fork in the, in the sink and like, stop. You know? So I felt bad about that. That was Wednesday night. And then tonight, I, um, I'm selling something, um, on Craigslist and someone called me back and asked me if, um, I'd meet and he was almost 100% sure he was going to buy this. I got somebody to watch the baby. I drove all the way down there. And I get there and I'm sitting and I'm waiting for like 10 minutes. He doesn't show up. So I'm like pissed. I call. Nobody answers. And then I look at my voicemail. I never got my voicemail. I didn't see it. And he had called like 30 minutes earlier saying, hey, it's getting too late. Can we redo this in the morning? So I'm pissed at my phone. I'm pissed at him. I was excited because I really need the money. And so I was like, now I got to turn around and drive all the way back to the other side of town. And so... I got a beer because that was a comfort thing and there was a McDonald's there and I hadn't eaten McDonald's in forever I rationalized it even though I'd already eaten dinner tonight I'm not hungry um, so I went over there and they have something called a California burger because it's got like guacamole on I think it's like a California Whopper do they have Whoppers big not Big Mac I don't know whatever hamburger that they're known for but it has guacamole on it um, I didn't get the meal, I didn't get the fries, I didn't get the soda, I just got the hamburger, and I slammed it, and did not need that. I just wanted to fucking pig out. I was pissed. So those are my two occasions for this week. Um, but the rest, I think I did really damn good. Um... So anyway, I'm going to start something new and exciting in October. For October, November, and December. don't know what it's going to be. It's going to be something to do with my intuitive eating, with a healthy lifestyle. I don't know if it's going to be a challenge or it's just going to be weekly blogs, vlogs. I want to I wanna make a page that's like for this. You know, I'm going to have a lot more mental freedom starting from now on. So I want to do things. My mind was so exhausted before. Um, in about two weeks, I'll be able to disclose what it, what it is that I've been going through this whole time. And I hopefully that'll kind of put some things together where you're like, why the fuck are you always so depressed and blah? So, um... Yeah, that'll be cool. So, um, just know that I'm going to continue with intuitive eating, just trying it out. Like, I don't have any of the do's, the don'ts. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do, whatever, you know, for the rest of this month and formulate what the big thing is going to be that I start in October. Um, I decided to do a body shot. Um, I'm five and a half months postpartum and I'm 180 pounds. And so this is what my body looks like. Okay, it's my big boobs. Still got my tummy. Some stretch marks. This is my booty. So, um, what's crazy though is even though I'm at my pre-pregnancy weight, I still can't fit my clothes because my stomach is all lumpified and I can't close anything. And then I used to be a 14, now I'm a straight up 16. I mean, there's no way I could fit into a 14. Like, I am a straight up size 16. 
but I weigh less than when I got pregnant. So it's very strange how everything's been displaced in my body. Hmm. But um, that's what's going on with me. I think I'll do some body shots from now on. Just be doing a lot of new cool things. Um, and then in two weeks I'll be able to do my six week update on Miss Cherish, my baby girl, Sunshine. She's so wonderful. So I'll be able to do that. And all that jazz. So thanks for all your support. And ask me any questions you want. Um, oh, I'm going to do, my goal is that no matter what type of lifestyle, diet change I do I want to do a weekly raw slash juice day a week to give my body a rest at least one day from eating no meats and no starches and nothing fancy just you know do some juices juicing fruits and vegetables like twice a day and then maybe have one big old salad in the middle of the day for you know we you know sometimes you just want to chew you don't want to drink all your shit you want to chew sometimes so that's my goal la, la 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 and I got a response from my favorite person online her name is if she's my favorite why don't I remember Lenore Josie Lenore yeah. and she sent me she responded to one of my videos I made the video called concerns that I made maybe about a month ago she responded to that and then she sent me a super long uh, email private message and it was so cool she gave me lots of insight because I talked a lot about how I spend so much time on planning food and I love the process of dieting what am I going to do instead and she, she, she suggested maybe using that energy and that analytical way of thinking to do something maybe financial plan a trip organize you know my budget better you know whatever like use that for something positive so um, it was great she, she said other stuff too but I can't remember but anyway if you don't if you, if you haven't checked her out she's the bomb Josie Lenore one word um that's it thank you guys <laughs> no, I don't know how to cut this off cut it off cut it off